the volume has to be there. Hi, my name is Alexa Ash. I'm a singer-songwriter and a vocal coach. I'm raised in Poland, living in London. Today is a super important video for me. I'm kind of nervous because I know that talking about that stuff brings back a lot of memories, but I still feel the need to record it and to share this story with you guys because I know that there's a lot of people who this might be helpful for. Uh, the whole thing happened to me uh, last year. Uh, it was uh, July and August, the most difficult and the most challenging, uncomfortable and weird months I've ever had in my life, for real. Um, what I'm gonna talk about is how I was going through COVID and there will be a lot of different things to it. I don't know if you've had COVID yourself or not, but obviously there has been so many different like topics and so many opinions going on, you know, uh, all the vaccines, no vaccines, blah, blah, blah. What is the best thing to do? What is the right thing to do? And like for the last couple of months, everyone just kind of forgot about the whole thing, right? Which is great. Like we probably have some more immune system. But what happened to me, and I believe that like the virus itself was just a last straw, basically. Uh, for a couple of months before I got it last year, I think like uh, spring of last year, I was drinking a lot. I was going out after work and I was working full time in hospitality in London and also studying. I was doing my second year of um, music studies. It was a very intense time and to be honest i didn't know like where i was going like what i was doing with my life my uh, sleeping schedule wasn't good my eating habits weren't good people i was surrounded by weren't good for me and and then i was partying and partying and partying and then i had a panic attack which is probably another topic for another video because what i've experienced during that panic attack it lasted for three hours and like it was probably the scariest thing ever um and then a month after that panic attack i got COVID, and i didn't know it at first i thought it might be just like a flu or something i wasn't really scared but then guys all the crazy fucked up things started happening to me i went to the cinema with my mom to see elvis beautiful movie very intense like i was really i'm a very emotional person so it was a very emotional movie for me to watch um, and the day before I went drinking like I went to a party and I was there until like 10 o'clock in the morning so I didn't sleep much and then I went to the cinema with my mom in the middle of the of watching the film I feel like in literally two seconds my heartbeat goes from bum 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 it goes to bum 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 and I realized that I'm having a panic attack because I already had one that year as well. But it was a month ago, so I was like, what's going on? Like, why, why am I feeling like that right now? I had no idea whatsoever what to do with it. So I just started hyperventilating. I went outside from the cinema room. Um, I was like, mom, I'll be back. I didn't even tell her like something was wrong. I was walking around the uh, shopping mall because that's where we were uh, in the cinema. And I was like, <sighs> You know, I was doing the worst thing. I had no idea how to deal with the panic attack. And also I had no, like, I couldn't control it, like, at all. And after I walked downstairs, like, all the th three floors of the uh, of the mall, then I went back again and nothing changed. Like, I was still, I, I was feeling like I'm dying. For people who have experienced panic attacks, guys, you know what I'm talking about. Like, it's, you can't explain it, like, from a logical point of view. There, there's no logic there, you know? Um, and then I went back to my mom and I was like, mom, something is very wrong, like we have to go. Fun fact, two days before that happened, I watched a video about Hailey Bieber uh, talking about how she was having like a mini stroke. So obviously my brain was looking for like explanations to what I'm going through. And I was like, oh my God, I'm having a mini stroke because I've watched the Hailey Bieber's video anyway. Yes, that was my brain before. I would just like look for all the little clues and try to like apply them all to my situation, which was very stupid and it probably didn't make it better at that time. 
So we went to the hospital where I started shaking, like all of my body was like, like that. And um, obviously that was me like shaking out all of the adrenaline that my body created, but I didn't know. I thought something was still wrong with me. Like, like I was just like in the worst situation ever. Obviously the doctors couldn't explain anything to me. They, they didn't tell me you probably had a panic attack or like, you know, and I was trying to play it cool. Like I was trying like to talk to them, but then I would be like, oh, sorry, I can't breathe. Can I open the window, please? And they were like, yeah, sure. You know, the doctor was like, yeah, of course. And I was like, <gasps> you know, but still trying to play it cool. That was the start of like two months of like the worst time of last year. <laughs> so what was happening after? I started going to different doctors and I started getting different symptoms. My heart rate was irregular and I would get like tachycardia. I couldn't sleep. I had like insomnia, crazy. The moment I was falling asleep, I would wake up anxious as if I was, I thought I was dying. Like I couldn't sleep for a couple of nights. Um, I had problems with my sight. I was overstimulated. I had to wear glasses for like two weeks just going outside because my eyesight was like fucked. I had problems with my hearing um tinnitus i could be lying in my bed in the room with a closed door and my brother would be taking out the uh, dishes from the dishwasher and the sound of putting like the, the plates onto each other would make my ears go like Zzz. like it's crazy now that i think about that it's crazy and i was experiencing all of that and then guys obviously because it was so intense and people didn't know like how to help me because it was neurological it was eyesight and then i went to uh check my hormones and then it, it had something to do with my uh with my thyroid so many different things i was so lost i was feeling so anxious i didn't know where to go i didn't know who to talk to because still people didn't have all the answers and now i have some of the answers luckily which i'm going to share by the end of the video um but i started getting like very very bad anxiety and very bad like panic attacks and brain fog was just immense and brain fog was probably one of like the worst things i started dissociating from my own body from all of the experiences that i was having and then i had um, a couple of sessions with a psychologist and a psychiatrist and they s gave me some like medicine that was supposed to calm me but it wasn't helping and i couldn't sleep better even after taking all of that medicine and after i think a few weeks of that well i still was like trying to go and like we went for two days to the um seaside with my friend a guitarist to play a gig a wedding it was two nights we were like staying there i was still so overstimulated i remember like being on that gig and like singing and i would like feel that i need to drink magnesium all the time i was i would feel anxious like all the time since morning till the evening because i obviously had no idea what's going on with my body i was so worried about myself and then i realized that i need to start doing something and i realized that actually after i was in the hospital and i was in the hospital like every three every three days like of each week of the month and i thought okay well, something is really bad. I was going back from the hospital one day and I was waiting for like four or five hours to get uh, my appointment, for my appointment, like in the hospital with all the other people. And for a person who has never been like in that hospital environment, like going to hospitals, that was a shock for me. Like I felt like I was literally kind of like dragged from my comfort zone, from my space of like creating and being happy, you know, going out getting drinks into that like world of sickness and like not understanding what's going on like sitting in the hospital with the i don't know how you say it in english but like the thing like the needle like for hours oh my god yeah now that i think about that like it's it makes me very emotional because i feel so i feel so much for like myself from that time and it was only a year ago so i was coming back from the hospital and i started crying and I was talking to my grandmother and I was like, grandma, like, I don't know what to do. Like, I feel so bad. Like, I'm so lost. 
I don't have enough money to pay like for all of these like doctors like I don't know what am I supposed to do I feel so bad I don't know when is it gonna end is it gonna get better I can't sleep I'm anxious all the time I was crying like I was sobbing on the phone like I had full-on like hysteria and my grandmother told me this thing she said take the notebook take a pen right now I was like sobbing I was like this is not gonna help me and she's like do it and she she started reading these phrases from her book and she was like I am fully healthy and I'm sitting there what I'm gonna tell you now like it's that like moment probably was a like the changing point I was sitting there trying to write down the sentence sobbing obviously my like consciousness was like you are not okay like you're not healthy but I was writing down I am fully healthy I am fully calm I love my body and I accept my body I don't remember exactly what were the phrases, but it was something around that. My like my brain, my psyche was rejecting it so much, but she was like, just write it. And I was sobbing, I was crying, but I was writing it down. And guys, that was the moment when I was introduced to affirmations and to reprogramming my thinking. And so from that moment on, I started regularly writing like affirmations and I started regularly writing my like thoughts morning pages and that was like I do that until now like it's been a year I've been doing it for 12 months I am so grateful for that moment of me crying and my grandmother who hasn't like she's not like in all of these woo 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 affirmations manifest things you know she she's not in there she just reads a lot of books and in that moment like i feel that literally god was like speaking through her like this is what you need to tell your granddaughter right now so if you are ever in a point in your life if you've ever experienced that if you have not still if you've not tried like writing down morning pages your thoughts and you have a lot of anxiety you have a lot of like overthinking and you've never tried like journaling this is the time to start and maybe this video is going to be like that game changer i am so grateful that there are so many more like resources and people who talk about that stuff and if i had not come across people who were talking about it and who were sharing their knowledge about like overstimulation uh, about our nervous system about their experiences or like people who um you know share all these how how important is the journaling how to journal how to like write affirmations how to tell yourself affirmations i believe all of that is really 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 important because it changes our inner narrative over time if we do it consistently if you're curious um how it all ended for me with you know um covid thing i was prescribed antidepressants instead of doing that i decided to meditate regularly so i started meditating i started doing journaling and writing affirmations every single day and a gratitude diary oh guys that is like a that is powerful shit like that is actually so powerful because as soon as we find things to be grateful for we calm our nervous system down um these things and then yoga oh and my body was like in the worst condition because i was not going to gym i was i, I was overstimulated my uh, muscles were tired i had like a lot of fatigue all of all of the things that you could you know read about like how people experience covid like worst covid cases uh my first yoga session i was doing online yoga um i was literally like i was shaking uh, but I did it and that was a start and then I started doing yoga regularly and then I learned about consistency and I recorded a video about consistency you can find it on my youtube channel as well and then slowly slowly but steadily with all of the changes that I started making in my daily schedule things started shifting and I started noticing that my body was like getting back the strength i could sleep better um obviously i was praying all the time like i was in church every single sunday and i was actually so grateful and i'm so grateful and this is like this is my insight from all of it that happened 
sometimes we get like shaken you know in life through different experiences it can be sickness it can be passing away of someone that we love it can be losing some like or having stolen some like material uh, goods it can be anything and once that happened we have a choice or we kind of look at our life from a different perspective like we we actually like look what are we doing like what is the purpose like where am i going with all of that or we just ignore it and we complain and we become a forever um what's the word we become a victim of our own of our own circumstances and i decided to not be a victim and even though all of that experience was very traumatic for me like very traumatic like i'm still like i'm recovering from having that like two months of like traumatic anxiety and feeling like my body is falling apart but i am so grateful that that happened because it showed me that i was actually doing so many things that were bad for me and for my body back like spring 2022 before i got that virus and so the reason i recorded that video was that if you've ever experienced something like that that was like very traumatic i really hope that you will find a lesson there even though you want to reject it so much and even though it, it could be like the worst experience you know like it makes no sense but actually guys we, we live here on this earth for approximately 100 years like how much sense does this make you know so I feel like we make sense of anything happening around us anyway. So why not make sense in a positive way and actually learn a lesson? I'm so grateful I shared that. Like it was literally on my mind. I wanted to tell that story like for a very long time. Um, I probably skipped a lot of things, but I feel like I've like the most important points, like they, they were there. If you've experienced COVID uh, similarly or you are experiencing it now, god forbid but even if you do or we, or you're experiencing any like uh physical condition you will get better and you just need to start doing the work we need to do the work and believe and sometimes when we not believe we need to make ourselves believe thank you for watching thank you for staying with me if you've stayed for the whole video then wow like thank you I appreciate you. I appreciate that I, that I could that I could share that story and I really wish you the best and I love you and I'm sending all the good energies. You can find me on Instagram. My name is Alexa Ash. Alexa Ash Music is the name on TikTok and on Spotify. And I'll see you soon. And if you need a singing consultation or like vocal coach in general, DM me. Um have a beautiful day, evening, night, date, meal, um, and I'll see you soon.